The Idea Center is a maker space located right in the library. It's um, run as a studio, so kids can drop in and they can see what's happening, projects that are already in motion, and they can sit in and start to learn some of the elements of the maker culture, and then start collaborating with our maker in residence to figure out what are the tools and materials um, you need for the project and really what is the purpose of the project. We need to make sure that kids do that design thinking, critical thinking piece. And so we have this facility to help kids learn how to make. And our maker in residence, who is a hobbyist, a craftsman, an artisan, works with our students to say, okay, you want to make this? Okay. Why do we want to make it? What purpose does it have? Right now we're working on uh, a few projects. One of them is the, uh, the quadcopter which we designed in AutoCAD and are using traditional construction on. And another one is a phone case, which we're actually building using our 3D printers. Uh, so currently I'm working on a couple projects, mainly a uh, quadcopter, which has four rotors to uh, synchronize and fly uh, like a helicopter, um, but they uh, hold a larger uh, capacity so I can fly with a camera and do snowboarding and skiing, uh, aerial filmography. Well, this room gives kids access to 3D printers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, CNC routers. Uh, the most popular and probably the one that defines the maker movement the most is the 3D printer, which we're using for the phone cases and we did use initially for the prototypes of the quadcopter. As a human species, we're wired to make stuff. All the base tools of a real maker space right in the library, so kids are just walking by, seeing what's happening, popping their heads in, and really starting to get traction on themselves as makers and cultivating that creative confidence that they have the power to build something, to make something, to create something.